going on everyone it's mike back again and uh, yeah <sighs> what you can see behind me is logan paul's latest video and actually um it's astounding how honest he is um i think logan's come a long way this year he's had a bit of a shitty year at times and obviously it all started in suicide forest um where he made a mistake that has pissed off uh it pissed off me it pissed off the majority of his fans, I'd say. And it pissed off a lot of the world. Um, Logan quite rightly says in the video that he was one of the most hated people on the planet. Well, I'd say if 20 million people dislike you, that's, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say he's one of the most hated on the planet. But he's certainly he's certainly in the top 5%, I'd say. Somewhere near Donald Trump, maybe, at the time. But irrespective of any of that, he's came through it. And what I really like about this video is the fact that he's very honest and open. And he talks about where he came from in 2016, how he had an amazing year. Um, does a fantastic montage as always. Uh, it goes into 2017 doing exactly the same. You can see him partying. You can see him loving life. You can see that, you know, he's, he's, he's reaping the rewards of the work that he's put into his channel, his YouTube, his Vine, all of his platforms, his social media, everything. And you can see that, and that's 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 nice for him, obviously. Part of me did think it was a bit of a rub in the face of people, just you know, ordinary guys like myself or you guys maybe who are watching this. And part of me thought, yeah, come on, you don't necessarily have to rub it in our faces. But I, I, I get what he was saying. I get his context. I get what he was doing. Um, 2018 completely changed his life for the worst. He probably went through his worst two months, three months of his life at that very moment after Suicide Forest. He left social media for about a month. And then he posted his apology video. His apology video, um, that probably got as much hate as the original video because he got it wrong. And he, he says that in his video that he gets it wrong. He, he says about how, you know, we donated to suicide awareness and stuff like that. But that that wasn't the issue. The issue was how stupid you were in the first place to be that insensitive. And he had to learn from that. And actually, I think he has. I think he has. I think that KSI's fight has really helped Logan. I think it's enabled him to. I think it's enabled him to actually just take a step back from real life, and get himself in, into a zone that he can prepare for something to aim for. When his life is like a game, you know, money is no object. Uh, girls are probably no object. You know, nothing in his life is probably difficult for him to achieve, apart from self happiness, which is sounds mad, but you can understand why that's the case. He fucked up so bad that almost the whole world turned against him in his eyes. And he's corrected that by the end of 2018, in my opinion. He's done a lot more. He's raised a lot more awareness. He's he's just been a better human being as a result of it. And, and that's credit to him because he was on the floor. And actually, I'd probably respect him more than I respect KSI now because... He's been through shit. He's been through shit. He's not. He's not hid away from it. Whereas KSI, he'll he'll brush it under the carpet. And obviously, he's had his issues with Deji and and whatever. And I did genuinely feel a bit sorry for him on Christmas Day. But Logan's gone through, gone through war and back. And yes, it was his self making. Yes, it was completely his fault. But from where he's came from. And where he is now is a different person. And he, he showed that on the True Geordie podcast before he got into his fight with KSI. And he was talking about winning and whatever. And he basically said, look, um, he wants to earn the right to be forgiven, not expect to be forgiven. Well, oh, you've earned that right, definitely, at this point. You've changed a lot of people's minds of you in a positive way. And that's the way he's approached it. And that's where he's got it right. And that's where he's changed for the better. And actually, considering he's such a young man, um, it's massively, massively came across in the right way. As of probably, I don't know, 
probably the fight, just before the fight maybe, he just started to get it right again and he got back in touch with his friends, his followers, you know, and you know, his management team was was, was great and, and even me, I could ask him for advice and his, one of his management team would like reply, I'd never expect a reply from Logan Paul, obviously, he's got 20 million odd followers or whatever, subs and numerous on Vine and whatever, but somebody gave me the advice that I wanted for my channel. So it was massive. So clearly he's a guy that's now in touch with his fans. And actually, what I want to say is, yeah, you've definitely earned my respect again. And good luck for 2019. I hope you have a really good year. Um, because trust me, you will not make the same mistake you made in 2018. And fair fucking play to you for fixing it. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. Have a good one. Um, I'm going to be doing a similar video on KSI and his 2018. And obviously his issues with Deji. So uh, yeah, guys, enjoy. Have a good one. And I'll see you soon.